Hey, here's how to play Roblox on the school Chromebook. Hey, I'm doing a Roblox giveaway. If you want to join, all you need to do is smash the like, subscribe, and bell button. Once you're done with that, all you need to do is join my Discord down in the description, go over to the giveaway channel, and then you would have the steps to join the giveaway. Once you're done, that's it. Now go ahead and click on the Google Chrome browser at the bottom side here. Now once you click on that, go ahead and type APK space mirror and then hit enter. Now make sure you click on the link that says www.apkmirror.com and that's the first one in my link so I'll click on that. Now once it loads up, you want to navigate to the search bar at the top here and type in Roblox. Once done, hit enter. Now as you can see, it shows us the different versions of Roblox and the updates over time. However, the latest one for me is on November 10th. So choose the latest one for you and then click on the downloads button at the right hand side. Once done, we want to scroll down. Now as you can see, there are two versions here. There's the bundle and then there is the APK in Ash font. We want to go ahead and select the APK in Ash font right here. Now click on that one and wait for it to load. Now once here, as you can see, it says download APK. Now I want to go ahead and click on the download APK button right here. Now once we select that, it's going to load us into our files. We want to go ahead and save this to our downloads. So we're going to click on save. Now all we have to do is wait for it to finish downloading and then we can proceed. Now once you're done downloading the file, just go ahead and click the folder icon at the bottom here and then go ahead and click on downloads at the left hand side. Now go ahead and right click the Roblox folder and then click on rename. Now what we want to do is hit backspace leaving just the .apk there and then we want to type Roblox. So at the end of the day we should have roblox.apk. Now hit enter and then it should be renamed. Now once you're done, go ahead and right click this and then click on copy. Now we want to go ahead and select the Linux files on the left hand side. Once you select that, go back in here, right click and then click paste. Now once we're done with this, we can move on to the next step. Now hit the search bar and type in settings. Once in settings, click on advanced and then scroll down and click on developers. Now turn on your Linux development environment and once the screen or the interface pops up, go ahead and click on next. Now feel free to change your Linux development environment name to whatever you please and go ahead and customize the size of your Linux development environment. I'll leave mine at 20 because I use Linux a lot and then I'll hit install. Now all you have to do is wait for the Linux terminal to finish installing. Now copy. Now go ahead and click on your launcher and type in settings. Once done, click on enter. Now once it loads up, go ahead and click on advanced, scroll all the way down to developers and then click on your Linux development environment. Now look for develop Android apps. Now some of your Chromebooks might not have this because it does not support it. But if your Chromebook supports it, it should have it. So go ahead and click on it and make sure to enable ADB debugging. It's going to ask you to restart and continue. So just make sure to do that. And then once you're done, you can continue the video. Now copy the link down in the description to go to my website. Once you're at the website, go ahead and copy the first code which says check Debian version. Right click this into your terminal and hit enter. Now anything from 10 to 12 should be fine. Anything below 10 I have never tried and anything above 12 I don't think exists. So make sure you're within the range from 10 to 12. Now once you're done with that, go ahead and type in sudo apt hyphen get install android hyphen tools and then hyphen a db and then hit enter now once you're done with that it's going to ask if everything is done mine is already installed so there's no need for me to do anything again however you might have to hit y and hit enter for yours now once you're done with that go ahead and type in adb and then click connect space hundred dot one one five dot ninety two dot two and then you have to bring a colon and then you bring five 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 four fives and then you hit enter now for some of you this might not work and for others this might work but you want to go ahead and allow the usb debugging click on ok now once you're done it says started successfully now for those that it says failed to authenticate as you can see down here you can go ahead and type in adb starts space space starts server hyphen server and then hit enter for this it should start everything perfectly now once you're done you want to go ahead and type in adb install and then you want to bring the colons and then you want to type in the file name that we just did type in roblox 
and then do dot apk and then bring the next colon the reason why i let us type the quotes is because it might be different for each and every one go ahead and hit enter and then wait for it to say now as you can see here it says error more than one device slash emulator and that is why i put the error quotes down here most of you might be getting different errors and different you know results that's why i put these errors here so that you guys can learn from them now as you can see my error says that more than one emulator and it's the same thing here so i'm going to copy this code right here to solve my problem i'm going to copy it and then i'll paste it right in my terminal now, once again, you want to go ahead and change the file name to Roblox because that is what we've been asked to do. And then hit enter and then wait for it to finish downloading. Now it says performing streamed install. All we have to do is wait for it to finish. Now, once it says success, go to the bottom left corner and click on the launcher and then click on Roblox. Now, Roblox is loading on my Chromebook and it's going to ask me to sign in or log in. So I'm going to log in and then I'll see you guys on the other side. Now once I'm done logging in, it should bring me to the home page. Now feel free to select any game to play and enjoy. Now go back to my website. Make sure to click the link down in the description to go to the site. This is the link. Once you're here, just go down and scroll all the way to the bottom. Now look for second formula, which says null.gg link. Now what you want to do is copy this link. Hit C tier C. Go back to the new tab and then C tier V to paste it back. Now all you have to do is hit enter. Now, as you can see, the game is loading at the top right hand side. It's going to come in just a few. Once the game loads up, it's going to say playing as guest or whatever it is. So once the game loads up, it's going to ask us to either sign up or to log in. I'm going to click on login and then I'm going to log in and see you guys on the other side. Okay, now once you've logged in, it's going to pop up in the home page. This is exactly where you want to be. So I'm going to select just a simple game just to show that this actually works on your Chromebook. So let's select something like adopt me and then click play. Now the best part about this is that it allows you to use your keyboard and your mouse, which might not be allowed on the normal android version and so this is one big thing that i like about this version of roblox on a chromebook so i'm going to click on play and i'm going to click on parent and then it's going to load up just very quickly now once you're here you can just click on no thank you please close this let me turn around and then the settings are pretty much straightforward also it allows you to record down in the bottom hand side here which is also best if you're a streamer or a gamer and yes basically this is how to get roblox on the chromebook this is the second method to get into roblox on the chromebook i like this method and i like the first one just as much and so if you guys enjoyed this video just make sure to smash that like subscribe and bell button once you're done with that all you need to do is join my discord down in the description go over to the giveaway channel and then you would have the steps to join the giveaway once you're done that's it